Welcome. Thank you for checking out this video. Are you looking for the easiest, quickest, and most cost efficient way to create an online business? Now is the time. This channel is for beginners. If you know absolutely nothing about the internet, you don't need to have any experience. All you have to do is follow along with my videos that are step by step in which I show you exactly what to do and how to do it. I am always available to answer any of your questions. Looking for the easiest, quickest, and fastest way to be able to create an online business, as well as being the cheapest way. If that is what you are looking for, then you have arrived at the right time at the right channel. This channel is for beginners. If you are a beginner and you know absolutely nothing about the internet, don't worry. I do step-by-step -step video tutorials that show you exactly what to do and how to do it. And I try to make it very easy for you to follow along with me. And you can always pause the video at any time. Before we get to the video, just do me a favor. Slip down and click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you are notified of all new videos that I am posting. I want to be able to add value to your life. I want to be able to give you the answers that you are looking for. And I think that I have made a video that may have the answer that you are looking for. So stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's get into the video. In this video, I take you inside Google Trends. I show you the different categories to choose your niche from. I show you how to compare different topics in your niche. I show you how to choose the right domain name for your WordPress site. I show you how to sign up, you how to buy a domain starting at 99 cents a year. I show you how you can point your name servers. You have decided to become an affiliate. So what is the next step? Choosing your niche. What are you interested in? What products or services would you like to promote? Doing research is necessary. With the always changing industries and new niches being created all the time. Google Trends. What is it? Google Trends is a free online tool from Google that will take you to a website online. This website is created with its main features of showing you search terms or search topics. The difference between a search term and a search topic is that a search topic will include your search terms, whereas a search term will be specific to your topic. To begin, you can add a search term or topic by typing it in. You will notice the terms or the topics beneath what you have typed in. So you have a search term for affiliate marketing and you have search topic for affiliate marketing. So we are looking at the search topics. You can also choose your location before you begin. When you have typed in your search term or topic, you will then choose the search. This will now open up a new tab. 
Here you can refine your search. Choose the downward arrow. You can choose your location. You can also choose the time period that you want to search in. So you have the past 12 months, the past hour, past four hours, past day, past seven days, past 30 days, past 90 days, past five years, and 2000 to the present. I'm just going to go for the past 12 months. You can also look at the categories. Where are you looking for the affiliate marketing information? Just going to go with pets and animals. This shows you the interest in affiliate marketing for pets and animals. And this will show you from September the 15th to, of 2019 to September the 15th of 2020. And you can also refine your web search. You can do an image search, a news search, Google Shopping, or a YouTube search. So, so this is, you can now see interest by region. You can change your search term. And you will see it uploading here, right at the bottom, and you will just choose that. So you can choose. You can add up to five di different comparisons. When you are doing your search, you want to search in the same files. So this is a search term. So this is what people are typing in. This is specific. So here you can see the interest over time. And as you scroll down this chart, you can see where pet food is right now. If you are thinking of choosing a niche. I have decided that my niche is going to be pets and pet food. So I am just going to type in pet. Food. As a topic. Further refine the search to worldwide. You can choose any other location. Past 12 months, and I'm going to look at the categories. When you choose your niche, choose it from the categories that you see here because these are the categories that show up all over online. You have arts and entertainment, autos and vehicles, beauty and fitness, books and literature, business industrial, computers, electronics, finance, food and drink, games, health, hobbies, home and garden, internet and telecom, jobs and education, law and government, news, online communities, people and society, pets and animals, property, reference, science, shopping, and sports. The niche that I am going to be comparing search topics and search terms is pets and animals. And I am doing a web search. This graph shows me the interest over time. And since I am doing it from the past 12 months, it'll start here in September 2019 and we'll travel along and see what the interest has been and where it is going. So this was in July 
of 2020 and this is now today and it's still at 82 percent interest with this graph you can download it you can embed it and you can share it now here it will show me the interest by region so this is a topic And here it says showing one of five in 26 regions. Here you can see all of the different regions. You can also scroll over the map and you can see the search in interest. Canada. And where you see the deep blue is where they are most interested in it. So this is Brazil, 100% interest. You will also see related topics. So the Cube World video game is related to this topic of pet food and it's up 350%. The topic of drought is up 170%. Frisky's topic is up. 80%. Pet Center, I think this is a company, is up 70%. And Senior is up 60%. So there are six topics altogether in here, and it is telling you this is the rising. You can check the downward arrow and look at the top. Related topics, food, puppet, kilogram, you can download this information, you can embed this information, and you can share this information. So this is related topics. Related queries. Related queries. User searching for your term also search for these queries. You can sort by the following metrics. The top, which is the most popular, Scoring is on a relative scale where a value of 100 is the most commonly searched query, 50 is a query searched half as often as the most popular query, and so on. So they are comparing the queries against each other. And then here you see rising, queries with the biggest increase. So these are the related queries for pet food. So it says here, Cube World of Pet Food is up 200%. You can choose rising or you could choose the top. And this is showing one of 25. That's one to five, six to 10, and 21 to 25. Okay, so I think that I am choosing a very good niche. The next thing I am going to do is I'm going to search, just going to remove this topic. It will also remove this graph and I'm gonna add a search term. And my search term is gonna be cat food. And as I type this, it will populate below. And you see cat food as a topic but cat food as a search term. So this is what I am looking for right now, is the search terms. So I have cat food, I'm adding another one, it's going to be dog food. And I'm waiting for it to populate under so that these are my choices. And I want the search term. Next, I am going to type in another comparison. I'm now comparing the cat food search term, dog food search term, and now I'm just typing in pet food. 
as a not as a topic as a search term just for to add a little bit of a comparison we'll, we will add rabbit because sometimes people have pet rabbits and then as you can see it is now compiling the information in the form of a graph we're looking at worldwide past 12 months pets and animals web search for you you can choose any one of the categories choose any topic and any search term okay so here you see dog food is the most popular and then second is cat food so if I want to be in a niche what do I want to sell what do I want to promote I want to promote something that is popular here this, is, this was in January 94% and it seems to just stay in the interest here is 91% compared to the second one down which is cat food And then here it will show me the regions in which the interest is. So this is interest for cat food. We're going to go interest. When you do the downward arrow, you can then choose any one of your search terms. We're just going to go interest for dog food. And then it will show me choose the downward arrow you can choose region or you can choose city you can also download your information embed your information and share your information you can look at all other regions and it's showing the dog food first because that is the one that I've chosen And you can scroll over this map and have a look at the percentage. 26% interest in cat food, 58% interest in dog food, and pet food on a whole is 16%. And the dog food is in red. The cat food is in blue. The pet food on the whole is in the gold color okay so you can actually look at the cat food interest by region and whenever you see something like this that means it will take you out into Google it will break out and go into Google this information here smalls cat food up 400% blink cat food up 350% reflex cat food up 200% and friskies dry cat food up 130% and it's showing one of 25 queries and also you can look at it through rising or you can look at it through the top so because dog food is more popular I am going to focus on dog food right now I am looking at the dog food related queries and interest by region and Australia seem to be the most interested in it the related queries says the farmers dog the farmers dog food the nom nom dog food and the wild earth dog food small heart dog food raw dog food near me bow wow dog food elpo dog food so it's naming all the different dog foods that are rising that people are looking for just look at the top related query for dog food best dog food
So now this gives me an idea of what I want my domain name to be, Best Dog Food. And this is pet food in general, and it will show you the different regions, it will show you the cities, it will show you related queries, and it will show you if you want to break out, which is to go into the Google, and it will show you the different pet food names. Here's Chuck and Don's near me. Chuck and Don's, Pet Food Express, Budget Pet Products, and here you can look at all 25. And then this is rabbit food, related queries, tractor supply rabbit food, science selective rab rabbit food. So rabbit food might not be um, a bad niche if you were d just doing rabbit food and not comparing it to dog food. Okay, so now I've determined that now my niche is going to be dog food. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this information or edit this information and I'm going to say, and then I'm looking for my domain name now. So when you're looking for your domain name, you use punctuation such as plus. Do plus, plus save, not Dave. <laughs> you save and then plus dog. See, this will really help you in deciding on what your domain name is going to be because you are looking at real-time information. You are looking at relevant and up-to-date information that will help you when you, get, when you get your domain name. Okay, so now it's come up and I want to now choose it so that it shows okay. And then the next one I am going to do is best plus dog plus food. Now when you type this in, you have to put the plus in and you have to wait for it to be populated below to choose it. And I'm looking for a search term, best plus dog food. And I'm going to add another one in Save plus now plus dog plus food. And another thing you can do is you can add this in your own language just by simply using Google Translate. And I'm, I'm now going to take this rabbit food out. Since the rabbit food does not even show up there. Okay, so these are pretty close. So interest over time, it shows me that these are very, very close. These are up around 75%. This is 79% going along this graph. Here you save dog food is 97%. And here you save, it, it's very, very close. 
So the one that I am going to choose is Best Dog Food. This is, this is going to be my domain name. You have your domain name. So now you want to get hosting. Find the link in the description and go to this website. Here you can see you can get a HostGator domain with hosting. You can get a Gator website builder. And I have tutorials on how to use the Gator website builder. Or you could sign up with your own domain. It is very important to get the hosting. In order to keep your cost at the most cost efficient way possible, I have put together this plan. So when you go to your HostGator, I'm going to explain to you, first of all, the HostGator domain with hosting. And then I'm going to explain to you how to sign up with your own domain using Namecheap. It's a very cheap domain name that you can get starting at 99 cents a year. Okay, first of all, your web host provides the server that hosts the files on your website. The domain name is a connection or what we call the intellectual property between your IP address and your web hosting service. And you can register a domain along with any of HostGator's hosting plans or you can transfer a domain you already own. You can get a free domain with your hosting plan, but you have to qualify by signing up for a 12, 24, or 36 month HostGator shared WordPress or cloud hosting plan. So here I break the billing cycle down for you. And here is the 12 month is where you would get the 50% off, the 24 month, 54%, and a 36 month. Then this is where you would get the 395 per month, but you would be paying for 36 months. Now, for people who are just starting out, you wanna try to keep your costs down. So I am just gonna show you the pricing plans and I'll show you what each one has. With the Hatchling plan you get a single domain, a one-click WordPress, a free WordPress cPanel, website tra transfer, um, unmetered bandwidth, free SSL certificate, and free domain included. The difference between the Hatchling plan and the baby plan, and this is the one that I suggest that you get so that you can get your unlimited domains. Unlimited domains means this is my actual domain name that I purchased. This is my domain name plus I've added a path. This is actually another website. Every time you add a path and you use quick install which is the one click WordPress installs, you will be creating a new website. And here it says you can create unlimited domains. These are all, these are all domains. This is your main domain and this is your domain with your path. You can also choose the business plan as well, which will then include free search engine optimization tools and a couple of other features. If you are just starting out, you want to try first with the baby plan. And then I break the billing cycle down.
if you decide to get the baby plan, you will have to choose a domain name from someplace else. And the best place that I have found to choose a domain name from is from a name cheap. And I will be going into a short tutorial showing you exactly how to do that. How you can choose your 99 cent domain name. It's what it actually starts as, but it probably can go up to two to four dollars for a domain name. And then you create your account. And once you create your account, you will then see your dashboard. And then once you have your dashboard, you will then be able to see your domains and you will choose the domain and you probably will only have one domain, but if you have more, you will choose your domain that you want to transfer or to change the DNS name servers. Then you will click on manage. From there, you will see that this opens up and you can go to this website at any time but I will be doing a very brief overview in of it so here you see you have your domain and you have your domain list Sorry, I skipped down. So here you have your domain and you have your manage. And then the next thing that you will do is when you click into your manage, here is a domain name and you will click into manage. This will open up this box here and here you want to scroll down to you get to name servers to custom DNS and from there your HostGator welcome package or where, wherever you have your hosting from will have your name servers in, in there and then you would enter each name server in the custom DNS one on top of the other there will be a check mark there and I don't think you see it, but there will be a check mark there that you would then check mark in order to save it. And now, instead of the name servers pointing to Namecheap or another basic DNS or DNS web hosting, it will now be pointing to your hosting company. Okay, so now let's get in let's get let's jump back into the video now buy domains for 99 cents a year this is a new special just click into the banner domains usually you would see a domain ending in a dot com when you see a domain ending in a dot rent, dot cooking, dot college, dot online, this is the promo code for the 99 special. So Now it's 99 cents special, but it's $1.30 Canadian. And also look at the renewals, because after one year, this is what it re renews as. So I'm just gonna choose this one here. Sign up. Create a free account, your username, password, confirm your password, first name, last name, and email address, 
and if you want to sign up for the newsletter and then create account and continue. And I'm just going to sign into my own account. Here you will find your dashboard and you will find your domain list. So you want to just click into your domain list. Find your domain and you're probably if you just created an, uh, an account you only have one. Click on the manage. Created a new domain today called the best dog food dot life. Once you have your hosting, this is your domain name. You will then find name servers. You will see this downward arrow and you will click custom DNS. You will copy and paste your name servers that you receive from your welcome package that you get from HostGator. paste both name servers in here. This will then take your domain name and point it to this hosting package that you just bought. Choose the check mark and it will say DNS server update may take 48 hours to take effect. Okay, so first you need to get your domain name. So now you've got your domain name. Now you have to get your hosting. And then after you... So now you want to get your hosting. You would go back to the website and go into the HostGator domain with hosting. Click into the banner. Choose Get Started. Choose the baby plan, get started. And choose, I already own this domain. You would then enter your new domain that you already own, that you got from Namecheap. So say I uh, entered You would choose your hosting plan, which is baby, and to make it very cost effective for you for your first month, and you will be paying $11.95 a month here. You can choose others. If you choose 12 months, you'll get 50% off, 24 months, 36 months you'll get 60% off. But for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of 
keeping your costs down just for you to get started because you can always renew your plan and change it. Your email address, confirm your email address, your password, put the number in, enter your billing information, and I have PayPal. The additional services, be careful with that because you will see these checked and they will be adding to your cost. You will see your coupon code on also another one to see is And then when you review your order details, you will see that you are only paying $12.75. And now you have your hosting. Thank you for watching this video. Google Trends is a great online tool and it will help you to be able to either choose your niche or to be able to find different merchant products that are trending right now so that you will be able to take advantage of promoting them and making money online. Because that is the point. The whole point is you want to make money online. It's not just a saying. It's something that you want to do and I want to help you do that.